This is 100 watts and a wire. So Scotty so. was informed by a radio club, which is pretty random. I wonder if they were doing that as a, as a service. I think we should bring them on and talk about, like, I wonder if they had a crew of people who were looking for upcoming expirations or somebody, you know, I wonder how that came up in the system that they, you know, initiated a contact with uh, Scotty just to let him know that his, you know, stuff was about to expire. And thank goodness that they did. So pick it up from there, Scotty. What what happens next? Did you talk to the people at all? No, no. So here it is. I found the email. I posted it in um, kind of a back channel on the Discord. Um, Greetings from the Southeast Texas Amateur Club. You are receiving this email because the FCC ULS database um, shows you have a call sign set to expire the first quarter of 2024. We have no association with the FCC and cannot provide any assistance in renewing your license. We just wanted to send this reminder as a courtesy. So the uh, wow, Southeast nice. Texas Amateur Radio Club. Uh, and they also provided links in the email as to how to go about um, getting into the FCC website to get to the right places to get the uh, to get the renewal underway. So that was excellent of them. Thank you. Wow. Uh, Southeast Texas Amateur Radio Club, Harris County, Texas. Was, uh, nice. Signed the email. Very cool. Yep. That, that's and awesome. Links for uh, FCC.gov. Um, I don't know how... Uh, I guess it's, it, I don't know how new these, this new system that the, I don't know how new it is, the uh, FCC uses. They use something called the Universal License System, ULS. Um, and then you have your, uh, uh, when you get your, when you get your license initially, you're issued an FCC registration number, an FRN number, and sort of your name uh, is tied to that number. It's kind of like a, like a VIN number for, <laughs> for your, uh, uh, for your license. Um, but you have to create a, uh, and a, a user accounts on the FCC website in order to get in uh, and do any of this stuff and, or to make a payment. Uh, and it was $35 for my mm-hmm. renewal, as was the big fuss uh, a, a year or two ago about the FCC uh, charging for renewals. Um, but uh, yeah, once I got uh, once I got uh, into the uh, the system, I was in there prior from last time I got my initially got my license. Um, I had to uh, to register my name um, to my uh, to create an account on the FCC, um, uh, this universal license uh, system, and kind of set that all up. But once that's up and running, you just kind of go in, and it'll show you which ones are up for renewal, and you click on renew, and it's kind of slam bam, thank you, ma'am, and uh, thirty-five dollars, please. So it wasn't wasn't too bad at all. Go ahead, Steve. Nice, nice. Yeah. Now I think the the new system went into place in twenty twenty two. I think when it uh, the new cores and uh, I'm still on the old and you got to register with the new one and then there's the payment system and it's all it's all changed. Uh, as far as getting notices that your license is about to expire, if you're an ARRL member, you get a uh, uh, a notice from uh, from the league. But uh, this club in uh, Texas, way to go! That is awesome. That really is. Yeah, yeah, that's really cool. Really cool of them to do that because I was just, you know, I was flaking out on it and I was uh, cruising right along. Do, la la la. Do, 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 do. Oh, <laughs> I'm about to lose my license. Not lose it, but you know. Hey, Scotty well, was the there. nice thing is. Oh, go ahead, Steve. And the nice thing is, you still have a two year grace period, but you can't, yeah. you cannot operate during that grace period. It just means you, you get to retain your call and all everything. But once you expire, you're expired. Oh, man. I was thinking that if it expired, you had to go through all the testing again. So you're saying there is a grace period there? Mm-hmm. Yes. Oof. So a two-year well, grace good. period that you don't have to go through t- uh, retesting or anything like that, but you legally can't operate. So That makes sense. But So it's kind of a, you know, you got a little cushion. So if you kind of took a, stepped away from the hobby for a little bit and then let your license it, it laps and then it's like oh geez uh i gotta renew then you you know you and you're within that two year window then you're good to go scotty was it automatic once you paid the the payola i mean the ducats and the uh, money to the fcc was it like no, you're back in baby just it it uh, i haven't received an official email saying that's the case but my experience with doing online stuff on the fcc site gives me you know 24 to 48 hour period before i see any results back um, it just it said I had no uh, outs- uh, once I got back in t- to my uh, ULS uh, username 
Um, it said that I didn't have any uh, any outstanding fees for any of the licenses I have. I only have two. I have my amateur call sign in, and I have a GMRS uh, license as well. So apparently, it, it it stuck that that I that I paid, and I'm up up to date. I haven't received a confirmation email from the FCC about that with my renewed um, license uh, card to you know, pin up on the wall here. Well, want to ask all the people who are here. And, you know, you're welcome to come every Sunday, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We do a live recording of an episode of 100 Watts and Wire. Our friends from TikTok and Facebook and YouTube, everybody's welcome here with us. I'd like you to go and check your paperwork because this one really snuck up on Scotty. And I'm, I'm thinking, oh, man, this was, he had like seven days, Steve. It was like, what? And we were talking like, what, man, what? what? <laughs> Scotty, are you a member of the league? Is, so did, uh, yeah, did you I actually wanted to talk. That? I wanted to talk about this because here's here's the situation that happened to me. I've I've been a member of the league um, for quite a few years now. Uh, however, I did not uh, renew my my AWRL membership. I had my my email that I had tied to my U my my user um, account for the FCC. I was using my kc3bxn at arrl.net as my Ooh. as my email address so and i had that that would forward to my my main sort of junk yahoo account um so i did not receive any notice from the fcc via that email account because i didn't have access to it because i didn't renew my membership um with the league gotcha so and you know, i actually people... i actually am now i've actually this morning i rejoined <laughs> how much did you have to my, pay they're telling me i've was, got 10 days it was sixty-five bucks if I oh, don't get Lord. the magazine, thirty or eighty-five dollars if I wanted to get the magazine. I opted to to not get the magazine this time. Wow! Did, so can you, you get the digital? You're going digital. Yeah, I, I get the digital version, but the uh, the hard copy. They want extra money for the hard copy. Yeah, man. I don't know. Gene, you don't want any more of these? That's the last one I got. Oh, no. This might be the last one I get. I, I there. I don't know. I haven't. I haven't that, seen that the latest one. Uh, in my bathroom as my uh, bathroom reader. <laughs> <laughs> Emergency toilet paper. <laughs> I looked up my license because Scotty scared me. I was like, "Wait, what, man?" And we had this little thing. It happened. It was like me and him were going back and forth. We weren't arguing, but I was licensed in 2012, and mine expires in. March of 25, and his was expiring before mine. And I was like, wait a minute, wait, what's going on here? And I think our community helped us figure out that I changed my call sign from KD0. Uh, you remember me as that. We've been running long enough that you remember that. But then I ended up changing, I, I just dropped the D and became K0, S-T-H. And then it kind of restarted my time again and we didn't know that we didn't have you here as the the cool uncle to tell us what we were doing and me and him were like no i don't know what's going on so about 10 minutes of that on the last podcast of us looking like i don't know <laughs> what, what do you think i don't know what should we do uh somebody came along and was like um dummies uh here's what happened so I didn't know that if you changed your call sign, it kind of regenerated the whole thing. So we got stuck in that. Mine is uh, March 10th, 25. So I'm going to be paying good attention. Scotty says it was all digital online, and uh, it seems like it was easy enough. To join the 100 Watts in a Wire community, visit 100wattsinawire.com.